2A, Geography and Aviation uh, at University of Waterloo. Uh, my uncle, he, used, he had his uh, recreational pilot's license. And I remember one time where uh, my family took a vacation um, to the U.S. and he uh, flew them around, but uh, sadly I was too little to get on the plane. So uh, from that moment forward, I thought one day I'm going to be like him. I'm just going to take my family up. And yeah, uh, here I am today with my pilot license. The courses at the flight center actually uh, really prepare you for flying. I mean, uh, they teach you everything you need to know about how the plane uh, achieves or how the plane flies and stays up in the air or uh, how you deal with different uh, situations. So each, um, each class that you go to is actually really interesting and uh, yeah, every, every class you go to it doesn't really seem like a class, it actually seems like um, something that you really enjoy. So uh, a lot of the classes, it, they go by so fast and you learn so much. Some courses are quite similar to the uh, lessons that you learn in, in, in classes at the flight center. As uh, we have one class uh, in physical geography, which tells us about the weather patterns of the air, and that's the same. Thing. That's almost about the same thing that we learn in uh, ground school. There's a bit of crossover in between, and you get to uh, you get to actually see these weather patterns in the air when you're flying, and that's uh, one thing that's really amazing about. Uh, uh, aviation is where you learn about these different weather patterns uh, in class at UW, and you actually get to go and see how uh, see how they affect uh, uh, the flying. Most memorable flights that I had were was uh, taking my parents up for the first time, and I actually didn't tell them uh, about uh, me getting the pilot's license, and I just told them to meet me at uh, Toronto Island Airport, uh, Toronto City Centre, and. Uh, uh, landing there for the first time was uh, was one of the one of the great great things on that on the journey. But uh, when I got, actually got to take off with them and uh, basically show them that this is what I've been doing for the past year, and yeah, here's uh, here's what I've been learning. My my parents are actually from Hong Kong, and. Uh, after, after a couple of years, I, I hope to uh, be able to go back and work over there. And uh, Cathay Pacific or uh, one of the Asian airlines would be uh, probably one of uh, my dream jobs, just to get back there and uh, where, where my parents came from. One piece of advice that I would uh, give to students coming in is make sure that this is what you want. I mean, uh, aviation, it seems a lot of fun and it seems really cool, but uh, unless you're really in for the long haul, this this is a really, this is something you have to be really sure of and um, you have to put a lot of time and effort into studying uh, the different systems, but the end result is really important. Before uh, getting into the program, uh, about the summer right before I got into the, my first year, I, one of my friends who's actually a pilot for United Airlines, uh, he took me up uh, twice over the summer, once during the day and once during the night. And it was uh, during my night flight over Toronto where we got to see the CN Tower lit up and uh, Young Dundas Square uh, really, really bright. It was that at that time where I thought to myself, this is what I want to be doing. This is exactly where I want to be. 